up? It's your boy, it's your boy Opsie in the house. What's happening? What's happening? Today is Wednesday, seeking Wednesdays, bro. That's when we go out and we just, we're going to be digging. We're going to be looking for these answers, man. On, on, on some questions on how can I be more effective? How can I make a bigger impact? You know, how can I? I got too many irons in the fire, man. We got too many good irons in the fire, man. The good irons in the fire, man. I just got to cut them out. I said I was going to cut them off, but I think really I just got to. We know we just got to get to work. That's it. Get these irons out the fire. Some, some exercising, no doubt. Getting that cardio up. That's one thing that I'm doing. I can't go wrong with exercise. I'm trying to work on this, uh, on this um, keystone habit. This exercise is gonna put a whole lot more stuff in my mind. You know what I'm saying? We working in my mind. Let's go ahead and make a move. Working in my mind. And, and people, other people seeing me exercise, it's gonna help all this stuff out. Just getting back in shape, you know, back in shape. You know, am I trying to lose some weight? That should be a byproduct, right? Of what I'm doing. It's not my goal, but that's a byproduct. Am I trying to get smarter? I like to do it, but it should be a byproduct of what I'm doing. I was just thinking about the phone calls today because I was listening to uh, Asking It Is Given. And this guy said that uh, he decided that he wanted to work in the office. He was working in the warehouse. And uh, hot and sweaty and was, you know, don't, don't like that life. But he saw, you know, he saw something. He saw another building where they had air conditioning, they weren't dirty, and he said it was women's in there. He said, shoot, man, that's to be the place to work right there. So he said, what can I do? He said, look, let me just at least walk up in that thing. Let me just go to the bathroom. That's gonna be one thing. I'm gonna go to the bathroom in there. He said, he got in, work, walked in, went to the bathroom, came back out and overheard the boss is somebody talking that, you know, somebody that makes the phone calls was off what they gonna do. He said, man, hey, why, why I make the phone calls? He just, hey, he went for the note. He got it. They, they looked at him, kept on working. No, but he stayed there and said, man, look, hey, why can't I make the phone call? They said, all right, let's do it. Say you can't one of the biggest telemarketers in the world. But the deal was, you know, that he saw something and he acted on it. He went for the no. Once you get a vision or something, if you ain't seeing the right stuff, man, you may have to start looking at some other stuff. George Meyer was talking about that today, about hanging around different people. You know? And one thing that, that, that got me on Joyce's mind today when she was talking about hanging around different people was that uh, she said that, uh, yeah, because it made me think about, she said when you hang around different people, what they got on them gets on you. And I had been thinking, right? I was just thinking, you know, if that's the case, well, what's the difference then what's on me gets on them? Why doesn't it work more like that? Then the Holy Spirit quickened it to me. The Holy Spirit said, the reason is, it's motive. Motive and intention. See, here's the intention, see. My intention cannot override another person's intention completely. Now, what you got, some, some of it would get on you, but you're gonna get more from them because your intention is hanging with them. I made the decision. So since I initiated the connection, then the power flows. I guess I'm gonna be more in tune to what's wrong with them. 
therefore if my attention on is on what's wrong with them then now it becomes what's wrong with me because my attention is on those things those sins those attitudes because i said hey i'm gonna hang out with this person and change because i'm thinking i'm gonna change them but in order to change them i have to look at them but if it was the other way around, they say, hey, look, I want to do better. Let me hang out with Ob C. Now, their attention is on me. I, my attention is still on my own God. Their attention is on me. You see what I'm saying? I, I ain't think about that, right? I tried that in the past. I tried to hang around some folks thinking that uh, they was going to get better. And then even my wife said, look, they just straight up met me. You need to stop hanging around them folks. Now I see why you can't budge them. You can't budge them. They got to want to hang around you. They got to seek you out. Then until they do that, they're not gonna get the juice. That's the deal. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. I ain't been looking at that. You know, you've been looking at that all wrong, right? You just gotta do and keep your eyes on what you. You can be in proximity, but your motive can't be to change them. The only motive have is to let them see you. See what I'm saying? Just let them see you. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. I like that. But back to the telemarketing, right? Because I was just saying I was going to look this guy up too. The, you know, greatest telemarketer in the world. My man said, yeah, he probably got a book. And then uh, maybe you can learn something. Maybe we need to get that book. Maybe we missing something. Then I can get the real me like, man, we ain't missing nothing. He's not going to tell us nothing we don't already know. And that is make more phone calls. See, I was saying I was going to call off the sheet, those customers. And I had been able to consist that because that domino was still big. I just got to get into my mind. And I just gotta make more calls. Not calling off a sheet, just make more calls, period. No matter what kind of calls it is, I gotta make them. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's what I gotta do. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna make more calls. Okay, if they birthday calls, the sales calls, if they polite calls, don't matter. The calls gotta get made. Gotta get made plain and simple. It's a numbers game. Now I want to make a bigger impact and I got to step my numbers up. You got to come up where you already know. You got to reevaluate ways to connect with more people. That's what you got to do. It look like somebody got some, uh, some paper going somewhere for some uh, that's a golden flag look like they're going to the recycling. You know, maybe they going to the recycling. But that's what I gotta do today, right? It's seeking wins. Man, and then I didn't my wife prepared me a salad, man, use up all the all the turkey. I was in there gonna make me my famous turkey wraps for lunch. And have turkey wraps and turnip greens. No turkey. Now I gotta go out and fend for myself. They'll be a great day for some tzatzikis. Ah! But I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. We're going we're gonna to talk to the wife tonight. Let her know, man. I want to do more things together. Oh, I got to go to the bank anyway. They'll open at 9 o'clock. Maybe we'll go out for lunch or something like that. We got to get that to them some kind of way. Let's get it to them. I go out to lunch. It's the thing I want to eat down here. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I could do it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I do it tomorrow. I do it tomorrow. 
bring it in on Friday. Me and my wife gonna be off and out and about. I do it tomorrow. Praise Jesus. See how that works? See how that works? It worked out perfectly. I'm going to see how many folks I can help, I can reach, I can touch today. Hey, hey. All right. We go ahead and thump back in. I'm going to put back in. Uh, asking that it's given. Listen to a little bit more of that before I hit the job site. Then on the way home, I'm going to be listening to the Crypto Dollar. Or maybe at lunch. I may be listening to Crypto at lunch. Get hungry. <laughs> Get hungry. All right. Peace out. Gonna go do it to this work life. Do it to your life. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Peace out.